Welcome to the Tech Source. My name is Dan, and as you can see, we're at my desk, and I'm going to show you my setup plus my specs, my PC, because I know a lot of you have asked, and a lot of you guys have asked about what's Dave's PC, um, but we'll do that at a later date. We'll probably do that next time I'm at Dave's house. So, anyways, but uh, as a new update, we're going to be oh, I'm doing another show. It's going to be more oriented about gaming and esports. Um, Dave and I won't be hosting it. It will be on this channel. It'll be hosted by someone else or another two people. And um, sh we don't know when we're going to be posting the videos. Um, we're going to be posting. We're going to start shooting it soon. We're going to start planning. We're in the midst of planning it and figuring out what we're going to do. And uh, we'll, we'll keep you guys informed as that comes. And uh, we'll let you guys know the schedule of that video when they do come out. And when we start launching that new video series along with the regular show. And also we're starting Q&A videos, so if you would like to send us your questions, I know a lot of you guys have tons of questions, we're going to answer them to the best of our ability. If we can't answer them to the best of our ability, well then um, we're, we'll put it out to everyone. We'll answer it as best as we can. If we can't figure it out, then we'll send it to everyone who watches the show because there's going to be someone else that's going to know the answer. Some questions I know may be very specific. A lot of people will just be like, hey, I'm building a computer for this much money, or hey, I'm going to be building a computer, you know, or I'm building a computer, this is the specs, or it's like, hey, can you help me build a computer? And I know there's, there's tons of those, we get tons of those questions. We don't mind them. Uh, I know we don't get around a lot of them because those ones do take a lot of time to answer, but, you know, any general questions about the show or anything, you can really send, you can send them to us at the email in the description. It's uh, q.a at thetechsource.tv. I'm pretty sure, but don't quote me on that one. Go to the description below. The proper email would be there. And uh, you can send us an email there. And we'll be starting Q&A videos very shortly. I know we announced them a couple weeks back. But we will be starting them very shortly. Now, moving on to my setup. My PC, the specs, and all that. So, stick around. <laughs> Alright, so, this is my desk. It's a glass desk, it's an L shape, I've got lots of PCs around it. This is another table we use, this is the table we use when we film at my house. There's my old iPod, check it out. Anyways, so there we go, we got three PCs here. We got my main PC here. We got my laptops. So I have two laptops. Uh, the top one, the one that's on, is a Lenovo T61P. It's got 2.4 gigahertz processor. It runs 4 gig of RAM, an NVIDIA Quadro video card. It's the 570, and it's a pretty good laptop three years ago. The laptop underneath it is a Lenovo T61. It's got a Quadro in it. It's uh, 170, I think it is. I can't remember the processor. I think it's only 2.2 gigahertz Intel. And it has 4 gigs of RAM and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in and all that stuff. So, pretty awesome. So, they're basically the same laptop, just one slightly better. Moving on, there's my 24-inch screen. And I got my uh, speakers, which are Logitech Z23, Z2300s. 2.1 system, so there's the other one. And there's the subwoofer. Pedals for my G27. And then all the wires. And then uh, the shifter for the G27, and then my mouse, or my mice, and my uh, Steel Series mouse pad. And I got a Steel Series Ikari mouse and a Logitech MX5500 Revolution mouse and keyboard combo. So there's the keyboard. I use this keyboard for secondary PCs and when I'm fixing people's PCs because wireless is pretty nice to use for that, but not for gaming. Moving on to my keyboard, it's a Logitech, Logitech G110. And uh, it's a good keyboard, built-in sound card, changeable colors, changeable colors, so it's pretty awesome. Blackberry Torch, uh, flash drives, flip cams, so 4 gig, 32 gig, yeah, 4 and 4 gig flips, 720p, 30 FPS, and I got my PC, and it's pretty cool. And uh, here I'll open it up for you. With one hand is going to be a bit hard. There we go. All right. So my PC. 
Inside this PC you find a Corsair H100 CPU cooler with a push-pull setup with two Noctua fans on it. Uh, it runs really 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 cool <laughs> and it's that's pretty quiet. Um, also I have 6 gigs of RAM I have an Intel Core i7-930 clocked at 4 gigahertz on the nose. I have a Asus Zonar uh, sound card, which is really good. An ATI Radeon 5850 video card. An, a uh, an Antec 1000 watt power supply. Can't remember the actual name of it. The motherboard I use is a Asus P6 P6 X58D-E or yeah, D-E motherboard, X58. Hard drives, there's lots of them. As you can see, there's an SSD on top, newest addition to the PC. It's 120 gig Corsair SSD. It's the Force 3, it's the refurb unit because I'm cheap and I don't feel like paying full price. And we got two terabyte green underneath. We got a two terabyte green underneath that one. One terabyte black right there. Another two terabyte green. And then lastly, another a two terabyte green. Some simple mods I've done to this case are A, add the lighting to it. And then I also added 240 millimeter fans to the top, to the front. Let me step back here a little bit. To the front, you will find 220 millimeter fans, opposed to the one 200 millimeter fan that was noisy and ugly and very flimsy and cheap. Um, so now I have 220 millimeter fans. Did a little bit of cutting there on the bottom. As you can see, all this area used to be all solid steel, and I cut a giant hole out simple fix. Now you can mount more fans in the case and it can be quieter and push more air. As you can see I have the mesh side on the side of the case but I also do have the clear side which I used to have mounted on this case. Very nice additions and on the top uh, not much is done there. So moving on there's my G27 wheel my super comfy futons don't make fun of it because it's ugly here's our mic we used to record the show which I'm not using currently but I did use it to record the intro sound so as you can see, look, and see it's tracking my talking. It's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, and then there's our lights. My picture of New York from 1940. A tripod, thing of games and magazines. And well, let's go over these PCs, I guess. Oh, hey, look at that. Noctua sent us an NHD 14, and we're gonna be reviewing it. And then I'm going to put it up against the Corsair H100. We're going to be the first on YouTube to have a versus video. Anyways, um, we got a Antec 300 here with an AMD Optron processor. It's equivalent to a 4000 plus socket 939, single core, 3 gig of RAM, ATI 4870, temporary video card. Um, it's got a NVIDIA or an Asus Enforce 4 motherboard SLI, one of the first SLI boards. It's a piece of crap. I've gone through three of them for RMA. <laughs> Shitty Wi-Fi card in it. Just upgraded the power supply to a 650 Antec Earth Watts. It was cheap, so I bought it. Then we have here is my spare system. It uses an AMD 4000 Plus dual core. It has uh, AM2. It's overclocked to 2.8 gigahertz. It has, a, and right now I'm doing some testing on the old video card from this system. I swapped the video cards in these two systems. Right now it has a 7800 GTX video card, which I'm going to be doing some testing because I think it died. 2 gig of RAM, 600 watt power supply from some thermal take, uh, 74 gig Raptor drive, and it has a 250 gig uh, data drive. Moving on, here's my cousin's PC that I built him. If you know, if you guys remember a long time ago before the tech source even started, I made a video on my personal YouTube channel about the budget 2010 Christmas budget PC or 2010 budget PC or something like that uh, and this was the PC we built and uh, so since then nothing's really changed beside the C besides the CPU cooler so uh, what it has in it is an AMD uh, X2 oh I was just overclock I was just trying to overclock it today too I can't remember the name uh, let's see here the name is a checking on my laptop because I have the tabs open AMD Athlon, you know, AMD Athlon 245, that's what it is, AMD Athlon 245, 4 gigs of RAM in it, runs at 3.1 gigahertz currently from 2.9, want to get up to 3.4, 500 gig Western Digital Blue Drive, ATI 5770 video card, uh, MATX motherboard from Asus, uh, I can't remember the name, 
The original Gigabyte one we bought broke for it. it has an OCZ 500 watt power supply and Tech Tri Cool fans that are red. It has a red one for the side as well. It has a clear side. Pretty awesome. I like that. And overall, that's pretty much my setup. Uh, that's everything I got. Uh, soon. Oh yeah, and also got some posters. If you guys haven't noticed them from before, these are the posters we've used in the videos. We've had them in the background. Red versus blue reference there. Red blue sucks. <laughs> Uh, I used to be big on Red vs. Blue, way back, 2004, 2003, and such. Um, yeah, and that's it, so that's my setup. Oh, I didn't show you my headset. That's my headset, Steel Series Siberia headset. It's a pretty good headset, 2.1. I added a Zalman mic to it because I bought the non-head, the non-1-1 uh, one -one without a mic, so it's a clip-on mic there. Works good. I like it. And that's everything. So, there you go. My wall of PCs cocoons me in my area. And yeah. Anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. And we'll be having a full episode this weekend. So be sure to check that out on Sunday.